Good morning, students. Today's topic is 8051 microcontroller. Myself, Suresh Babu, working as an associate professor in the department of ECE, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. And about 8051 microcontroller. Microcontrollers are processor chips that can generally have many elements like memory, input port, output port within the chip itself. They can also be called as a single chip computer. Microcontrollers are used in machine control applications where there is no need to change the program. Many equipments use microcontrollers. Equipments that use microcontrollers includes computer printers, plotters, fax machine, Xerox machine, telephones, engine control machines and other electronic instruments such as oscilloscopes, multimeters and prime meters. About the features of 8051 uh, microcontroller, one of the main features of 8051 is it is a 8-bit CPU. Uh, it has a 4 kilobyte of on-chip program memory. It has 128 byte of uh, RAM. Four ports are available. Each port has 8-bit. Two 16-bit timers are available. It supports full duplex communication. It has an on-chip oscillator. In addition to the above features, 8051 provides other processing like Boolean processing, interrupt. It can able to handle the interrupt capabilities and it is used for control applications. About the pin diagram of 8051, it, is, it has a 40 pin IC. 40th pin is used for VCC and 20th pin is used for ground. Pin number 32 through 39, it is used as a, a port 0. Already we have seen that uh, uh, 4 ports are available in uh, 8051. Uh, first is port 0 and along with these uh, uh, ports, a multiplex address board data line is available. You can see that pin number 32 to 39, AD7 to AD0 is available in pin number 32 to 39 and coming to uh, pin number 1 to 8 these pins supports for port 1 we know that normally port supports uh, IO communication and next pin number 28 to 21 and this is meant for uh, port 2 Along with this port 2, multiplex address lines are there. Already we have seen that uh, 8051 has a 16-bit address line. Uh, so lower bits are available in pin number 32 to 39 and higher order address bits are available in pin number 21 to 28. 28 yes. And pin number 30 is for address latch enable, which is used to separate the address and data line. Pin number 31 is for uh, external access. If you want to uh, connect any external device along with this uh, controller, you can enable this pin. And coming to uh, port 3, port 3 is in uh, pin number 10 to pin number 17. And along with this port 3, many control signals are available. Some of the control signals are RXT, TXT, INTO, INT1, T0, T1. T0, T1 is for timer control. And rewrite control is also available here. And pin number 18 and 19 is for uh, crystal oscillator XTAL1 and XTAL2. About the pin details, already we have seen that it is a 40 pin IC and the supply connection is given in uh, VCC. And built in, built in clock oscillator is available that is in pin number 38 and 39, right? XTAL1 and XTAL2, this is for uh, connecting crystal oscillator. The purpose of the crystal oscillator is to provide a synchronous connection. Uh, control signals are available in 8051. Some of the control signals are PSEN, ALE, EA, RST. PSEN is a uh, control signal. It is 8 bit wide and this PSEN along with this PSEN, the flag registers uh, are available. ALE is address latch and enable. EA is external access. RST is reset pin. 
Here the reset is high. Active high reset is available in 8051 controller. And about the architecture of 8051, here the main uh, uh, block is ALU. I think you know all, all of you know about the functions of ALU. It will perform arithmetic and logical operation. Along with this ALU, the accumulator and B register is available. Here the normal uh, purpose of accumulator is used as a A register or an accumulator. The operands are available. Uh, B register is exclusively uh, meant for multiplication and division operation. And here a program counter is available. And DPTR block is there. DPTR it can be divided into DPH and DPL. That is for lower and higher order bits. You can use it. A program status word is available. Already we have seen that the purpose of the program status word is to uh, provide the flag content. SFR is there. SFR is special function register. Some of the special function registers are IE, IP, PCON, SBUF, SCON, TCON, TMOD. These are all the uh, special function registers available with the 8051. And the uh, internal RAM has four register banks. Register bank 1, bank 2, bank 3, bank 4. Each bank has uh, eight registers. Okay. And here it has a 16-bit address as uh, discussed. And uh, here uh, the ports are there, uh, port 0, port 1, port 3 and uh, port 1 and port 2, sorry, port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. Along with these ports, it, it is connected through latches. And here about the uh, uh, timing control block, uh, ALE, signal, reset, XTL, 1, VCC, ground, all the uh, functional pins are available in this block. Okay, thank you.